Okay, so we're going to do these last few problems on here. It says Jane paid $40 for an item after she received a 20% discount. Jane's friend says that this means that the original price of the item was $48. How do you think Jane's friend arrived at this amount? And is her friend correct? Well, I, what she's probably going to have done is say 20% of 40 equals... eight dollars okay and if you do that you said 20 times 40 or not 20 times 40 but 20 times 40 equals eight dollars then she added eight dollars not ad sorry then she said 40 plus 8 is $48. Okay, that's probably how she got to that. But she would be wrong because it's not that she got 40% of 40. What she did wrong was off of it, right? Oh, it would actually, actually have paid of some number, the whole, and what would that uh, she paid forty dollars as the quantity. She ended up paying 40 after a 20% discount. So what was the whole number? Well, this is our um, percent, percent times whole equals quantity. But we're looking for the whole. So we're going to divide by T. So we're going to divide by 0. 0.80. 0 0.80 40 divided by 0 0.80 is $50. So that's how much the item actually cost. Now it says write one problem using dollar amounts of $420 and a percent of 40% provide the solution to the problem. You could do this two different ways. You're going, you've already got your 40%. going to use the 420 as the whole or 420 as the quantity. I'm going to do it as the quantity. Uh, no, let me do it the other way. I'll do it the other way since we just had a problem like that. I'm sorry. 420 goes here. Okay. So 40% of 420 is just simply P times W, and that will give us Q. So point decimal four zero times four twenty is equal to what? Mm, I don't really know because I did it the other way, but I wanted to show you a different one. So let's see. One hundred and sixty eight dollars is forty percent of. 420. Okay. The sale price of an item is $160 after a 20% discount. So, what was the original price or what was the whole price? Okay. We got a 20% discount. 
okay? Which means what? Remember, if it's a 20% discount, that means we're paying 80%. Uh, some number that's going to be our whole is going to be $160. So this one is just like this problem. We're going to divide by the percent. Divide by the percent. 160. The whole is equal to. Two hundred dollars. So weird looking two there. So it originally cost two hundred dollars. You get a twenty percent discount and it equals a hundred and sixty dollars. Angelina received number 16. Angelina received two discounts of a $50 pair on a $50 pair of shoes. The discounts were taken off one after the other. If she paid $30 for the shoes, what was the percent discount for each coupon? Is there only one answer to this question? No, there's multiple answers to this question. You can do this however you see fit. But let's see. The whole is $50. And it's going to end up equaling 30. So, what percent do you want to use first? We've got to take it off of this one. Okay? So, if I said I'm going to use a 10% discount, that means, if I said 10%, that means I'm going to take 0 0.90 and multiply by 50. And that's going to give me $45. Okay. Now, This is my whole number, okay? I'm going to use that as my whole because I need it to equal a quantity of 30. So what is the percentage that it's got to be? I don't know yet. I've got to figure out what my other percentage is. So if I'm trying to find out percentage, P, W equals Q, I have to divide by the whole number to get P equals quantity over whole. So if I divide by 45, divide by 45, that equals, actually that's going to equal two-thirds which is 66.6. Two quantities. I'm sorry, two percents or two discounts. But if that means we need 66.66, what is the discount we're going to take off? Okay. We're only going to take off one third. If it was two thirds, then we're going to take off one third, which is going to equal thirty three point three percent. So there's your two discounts, 10% and 33.33%. All right, guys, that's it. Hopefully you can walk through. If you can do those problems, I think you'll be fine on the test, okay, if you understand those problems. All right.